Alright, um, 226, part of the boiler under the greatest pressure. What is the part of the locomotive boiler? It has the greatest pressure. Answer the bottom part of the stream extends um, stands the expansive of the curve the pressure for the evenly with all direction bottom of the part of the having support wave of the water with the stream the greater pressure for the two twenty seven the form of the locomotive of the boiler. Describe the general form of the locomotive boiler. A locomotive boiler is a cylindrical form with the smoke box on one end of the fire box and the other. The fire box consists of the flue sheet, side sheet for the crown sheet with the black sheet with the side sheet with the flue in the back sheet with the screw with the boiler shoot shell with the mud ring with the stable. The crown sheet with the support with the crown bar with the radial stable with the flue sheet with the two, um, flues and two runs um, thoroughly with the cylindrical bar secured with the front and the back of the flue sheet. This part with the surrounded by the water in which the steam is generated. The fluers. The boilers are provided with a steam with the um, come dome the steam with a steam dome in here the dry steam with the regulate being used with the possible but also provided the possible um place in the throttle with the pop up out with the whistles, etc. There are several kinds of locomotive boilers, straight boiler, bell pair, and wagon type, the extended wagon type with the wide bo wide firebox type. The two um Says you, um, question 228, pull on the fire doors. What caused the pull on the fire doors? Amp the dancer, damp the kettle, closed ash man full with the cinders grave with the flows, um, without sufficient opening with the mission of the air to heavy the fire with a badly clinkered fire, insufficient with the opening of the damper for the inch ash pan, all end of the trip, um, produced in the pull on the fire box door with the exhaust steam with the passing up through the stack of the expelling of the smoke with the gas through the smoke box grate, the partial vacuum in the front of the stack of the air supply with the should come up through the grates of the fire with the supply of the insufficient pull with the door and results. Two twenty one statute um Question 229, steam, a saturated steam, what is meant with a saturated steam? Steam is the contact with the water with which the generator of the color of the saturated steam, local of the saturated steam, and life of the quip with the superheater, which is applying for the heating of the steam, with which away with the cylinders and the high temperature, but they had been confined with the boiler with the water from the witch of the generator. Alright, um, question 230. The broken cylinder is handed with the Shenandoah of the compound. If you blew out the high pressure cylinder on the head of the Shenandoah compound, how would you disconnect with the low pressure cylinder head? How would you disconnect? The instructor for the American locomotive, the company, are issued in high pressure side with the become disabled to disconnect the block of the cover of the parts, but the operator with the exhaust valve the should be same as when it's running the symbol, um, sim running simple. Should the low pressure side become um, disabled, the block of the cover of the ports opening the support exhaust valve in the cave of the engine should be without air of the operation, so the same as separate. You know, the separate exhaust valve of the black of the preferably wood with about a three inch thick with this should be inserted within the valve cylinder remove the head of the head of the game with the place over, over the block. Alright, um, question 231, broken bypass valve. With the broken bypass valve with a high pressure cylinder, what would, would, what would you do? Um, what, what if you would look, uh, look what, what if the lower pressure, what if, what if on the lower pressure side, take off the valve body, insert the blind gasket between the, in, between it and the cylinder. Question 232, blocking cross-head disconnection. Why is it necessary to block the cross-head in the disconnection? And what could it, um, why couldn't you, and wouldn't you be easier to leave, um, easier to leave one port open a little and a little, and let a little steam in the one end of the whole position of the end of the cylinder? The reason for the cross-head is blocked with the preventing of the further damage of the engine. If this valve of the engine permit, they should be allowed with the block with the back end of the guides, although the sum of the engines require that the block forward of the, of the crank pin will be clear of the cross-head. If much more of the update with the disconnect with the getting rod with the butt, leaving the up, up whenever the possible first cap of the engine with the, on the quarter of the good side that you can start with the ready with the disconnect with the valve ready about rod with the disabled side with the move of the valve until the valve the, uh, very little steam is seen escaping from the cylinder cockle the clamp valve with the rod to take out the cylinder cockle valve and then open the feed valve with lubricated disabled side feed the little faster with the working side so that you're ready uh, to go opening the port need to be uh, or an opening of the port needed to be uh, need not to be any more than thickness of the tin or Russia iron and cave at the top of the center with a good eye Good side, you can move the value of the disabled side to emit the steam to get the engine off the center. If you have to run a long distance shop, shut off the oil may be emitted with the cylinder through the oil pipe with the lubricator through the air inlet valve of the steam chest. Our right, question 233, taking off the opposite side of the rod, disconnecting. Why do you have to remove the opposite side of the rod, the disconnect, whatever? And what harm does it do, um, does it do, does it if do if the boxes, if you have not taken off the opposite rod off? If the answer, if the engine is using the same both cylinders and one side of the rod is bent, bent or broken, in any case, the remove the opposite rod, the other side should cover the down for the reason for the, that would make the main rods value to the same with both sides. Uh, when one side of the center, the other side of the core oh, is on the quarter. Now imagine the 10 wheel of the engine for the back. Set. 
section of the side rod removed to the right side of the engine standing on the quarter one quarter on, on the quarter on the right side. The left side of the center all rods with the train line up with the center of the axles when the throttle is open, steam is emitted within the cylinder to the right side of the being of the quarter will exert with the greatest rotative force on the side of the trim of the wheels in the direction of the motion of the back wheel with the left side and having the side rod to up, pulling up on the straight line with maybe the maybe the side with which may go whether the direction of the others or the opposite direction of the rod on the left side of the liable to bent broken or the pin broken pulled out with the wheel center but this is the reason to be taken down with the opposite side of the wind the working steam on the both side of the engines and cave of the main pin with it should be breaking any failure if any other failure but there should occur with which would require that all side rods main rod on the side but there should be taken down you could safely leave up all the sides rod with the working side of the engine without causing the damage for the reason for the power supply with the engine only with the pin must be either above the below the center of the enabled the engine move that they will be sure of the one direction no harm will result the driving boxes and the wheels will trail all right on the dead side. This may leave the deviation from the general practice in which will work and the same with the takedown of the side rods and give you three wheels instead of one one to bring engines to the shop. To the shop. All right, question 234. Engine pounding when shut off. If the engine pounding when shut off did not work, um, work did not... Did not when working steam would you have to be avoided damage for the engine? What would be would you report? Answer when working a little steam to the form of the cushion of the preventing the pounding of the until stop the examine the travel the cross head on the eye and see if the length of the main rod has been changed with the shop. If it would be changed with the lines of rod best if the length of the shortening of the case with the required for the main rods get longer for the key to the driven, it would be found that main rod to be on the right length with it would be the uh, taken off the cylinder and possible to find um find broken follower or the bolt or loose spider. It's not look is not is not if not look for the sprung piston uh, rod, if the piston rod with the sprung with the wood would Take down on on the side of the preventing the damage of the cylinder. Um, question two thirty five. Covering the parts when the engine having lead in on the center of the can in the ports of the engine having the lead over the cover of the valve of the engine is now over the center. Answer if the valve answer if the valves are set with a lead on both the forward and back mo motion the portion could not be covered on the side of the um, that is on the center. The, the, the lead amount of the valve opening with the steam port but the position is the beginning with the stroke of the lead is increased with the lever to dance toward the center when both motions are led with the possible to cover the ports when the center of the of the, the lead would be the same as the lever to either forward and back motion which would increase the lever of the drown drawn into the center of the quadrant. All right, question 236. Broken steam chest on the two cylinders shin and a uh, compound. What should be done with the right hand steam with the either chest broke, um, breaks on one side of the one, one of the two cylinders shin and a uh, compounds? In case of the low pressure steam chest is broken, we use the high pressure side with the simple engine to. To do this, we'll have to take out the intercepting valve of the um, block, reducing the valve of the closed position so the intercepting valve is replaced with the steam that's low pressure. While the um, side of the inter intercepting valve is in simple position, all right. This shows the valve arrangement of the of the Shenandoah inspection um, locomotive. All right. Um, question two thirty seven. Broken steam in the exhaust ring within inside of the emission of the piston valves. Are engine within uh, having inside emission piston valves would be the um, the effect of the piece of the steam ring of the one end should the break out. What would be the effect of the exhaust ring on the one end should break? With um, answer with the piston ring with the valve of the inside out of the edge of the valve rings the conserve the same of the steam the exhaust edge with the slide valve. But if the steam the inside of the ring of the inside emission piston valve was broken on the steam the wood would put a dot emit the to the port of the end of the cylinder too soon the wood flow within to the end of the cylinder with a long period of the stroke. The IE, the broken ring of the end of the valve would not cut off the steam closed for this port, but as soon as it should be, the ring is all, uh, all right. Therefore, it would admit the steam is too, uh, is too soon or cut off too late. The effect would be to, uh, to be that so much of the steam would be admitted to the end of the cylinder is exhaust ring with the piston valve that was broken. See, aim from the end of the cylinder would be escaped the exhaust port, but as soon in each of these case for the engine would sound lame. And the inside of the emission rings are broken, you can easily locate the pipe on placing the valve center with the opening of the throttle cylinder and cylinder cold cock. The exhaust ring will open the exhaust will take place when they too early making any of the piston, piston valve the engine has had or valves running over the reported lane of the marks and indicated the valve gear and centric square. All right, and the trouble that afterwards we're finding that the broken ring of the piston valve to try um, to locate the broken ring better the chance and uh, take a chance having the ring examined it and to then report running of the valves over run the valves over when the valve gears indicated into the spring of the broken slip parts. 
Question 238. Lever sending with the quadrant engine drifting. Will, will the valve of the engine move in if the lever is in the center of the quadrant engine is drifting? If so much, how much? Um, as, you, as, you hook, uh, as you hook for the lever toward the center of the quadrant, leave the increase of the portion of the radius of the length of the valve to variable the distance equal twice the lead, twice the lap of the valve at the middle gear for the engine is drifting. Question 239. Sectional eccentric slip. If the sectional eccentric slip is, is, is slipped, you cannot move the a on, one, on an axle to get back in the position. What should be done? The section bolt should be slacked up enough to get so that it can be moved easily after it is in proper position before the setting of the screw setup. The section bolt should be brought, drawn up tight again. Question 240. Carrying water in the boilers. What is bad practice for the carry water to the high and too high in the boiler? Um, wet steam is less effective with the dry stream. The water is too high the, in the boiler with the carried out with the dry pipe at the valve. The cylinder for the throttle open the more water. The use the more fuel consumed. The efficiency of the engine to create the water stream. The wet steam and the water carried over the in, into the steam shaft of the cylinders destroy the lubrication and increase the friction of the valves and cylinders keep the crown sheet wet with it. But also steam in the dry is also possible to make the pull of the tonnage always. 200, question 241. Valves become dry when the valves get dry with the wind using the steam lubricant is working all right with the wood. You, what would you do if they're relieving the conditions? How many, um, how may may you may know that the valves are dry? <clears throat> Our answer, you will know that the valves are dry when the engine begins to lag with the train with the sound with the exhaust and the rattle with the pull of the reverse level of the lubricator with working all the right with the vent with the lube oil with the reaching of the steam chest with the held, in, held up in oil pipe due to the steam chest the pressure of the greater than the pressure of the lubricator end of the pipe. This is called the hold up of the oil with the oil pipe to relieve the conditions close party with the close of the throttle for revolution of two in place with the lever of the full stroke. If then you cannot shut off the length for the length of the time, the partially closed with the throttle drop lever then into the fuel gear. Full gear for this will reduce the steam chest pressure for the pressure in the lubricator will the, um, will be greater than the oil will force the valves in the cylinder. Our question 242, engine of a single oil valve, the, uh, oil, oil for valves and cylinders. Why should the engine or single oil not be used with the valves and cylinders and the temperature does not an engine with the valve oil loose for the lubricating qualities. Be answer, because of the engine, single oils will be burned with the lower temperatures are not made to lubricate hot surfaces. Will, um, will low test oils that are used to burn the gum and the strip of the oil valve with the rings and serve with the choke with the nozzles. Use oil to lubricate use oil to lubricate the parts where where intended for. The engine and oil will lubricate up to 300 degrees and valve oil will stand up to about 500 degrees without losing lubricating properties. All right, question 243, adjustment of the dope cups. How do you adjust the dope cups on the rod? It's usually pins for the run with the warmer to using dope. A answer this. And there's no adjusting the grief to help with where the hard grief of the rods other than the slack job of the nut. Straight, um, screw down, down with the plug. They usually turn on and turn on half of the plug with the wool force enough to grease the pipe and the brain. Enough grease to the pin for a run of the, um, from 100 to 150 miles with the pin, main pins. Probably, proportionally less of the side rods. This should be... Um, one of the last things done before leaving the terminal, if the heavy rainstorm will wash, wash the grease turn from around the collars, there may be need for frequent attention if usually the pins run to the higher, high, little higher temperature for the using the grease and then when using the oil, the friction greater to do the sticky, uh, sticky layers of the grease on the pins and the brasses. Question 244. Effect of too much pressure in the grease of the cups. What effect do too much of the um, pressure in the grease cups produce? Pins will always be warm and the grease will be forced out around the collars and pins and wasted. More work uh, for the engineer if he required to fill the cups and increase the cost of lubrication. Question 245. Using oil with dope. Is it necessary for the oil within dope uh, with dope on the crank pins? No. Oil with wa oil or water should not be used with, the gre with grease. Two, question 246. The lap of the valves. Why locomotives are given the lap? To enable the work of the steam with expensively with the valve, they have no lap. As soon as the one end opens, the emission for the other end of the opening is off of the steam will flow from the boiler to the cylinder um, during the, length, and the entire length of the stroke. Question 247. The inside the lap and the uh, inside clearance. What is the inside lap of the inside clearance? Answer. The inside lap of the mountain with the inside edge of the valve over the inside of the edge of the of the steam ports with the valve in the center of the seat and the for the purpose for the direct delay of the exhaust and release for the steam from the cylinder. Question 248. Piston versus slide valves. How do they differ with the piston valve instead of um, submission for, the valve for others? All right, answer. With the plain side of the two outside edge of the valve, the same edge for the two, in, two inside edge of the exhaust edge, exhaust edge of the piston valve without the emission of the ed, edge of the packing re represents the edge of the valve with the lead lap of the area of the measure but the same manner as the slide valve. Um... Alright, this shows the piston valve in the inside emission. Live steam and exhaust um, 
in the piston valve um, within the inside of the mission of the lapel would be the amount of valve measuring the edge of the rings that extend to the inside edge of the seam ports of the piston valve the center of the sheet the exhaust lap would determine inside the lapel would be the amount of the valve that extends over the edge of the, the seam port when the valve is in the center seat with the mid position um, question 245 249 Testing of the blows with the compounds. How would you test the valve blow of the vacuum compound? How, how, how would the tandem, how would the high or low pressure packing each of the type of the several other regarding compounds? Answer the detection and location of the blows in the any of the engine not, uh, always an a, is easy thing to do all the time. More difficult to compound mechanicals. All, Officers sh um, should not expect to too much engine from the engine man for the details covering the full answer for the art of the railroad. Railroading published by the Railway Publication Society, Chicago. Um, all right, question 250, effect of the change of the driving wheels. What would be the effect of the change of the main pair of the driving wheels end of, end of end for N? Answer, on American locomotive, the right side of the engine leave the left side of the engine O and quarter of the turn, but the other, in other words, crank pins are set with the angle of 90 degrees to each other when the right side of the forward center of the left side of the fluid to the top of the quarter is central to the right side angle of the, the pins advancing to the forward pins of the mount of the lap leave. If you could take the main wheels and axles, eccentrics, and out of the turn, them end from end to end and give them one quarter of the turn from for the forward and the main pins eccentric you would identify identically would be in identically same position as before take the piece of the cardboard about the, about the size of the dollar take straight stick pins in it and represent the crank pins marking the position of the eccentric on the paper and then turn it in if the end the change will not affect um will have no effect all right they, they, i'm starting the next um tape of 251